I broke up with him. It was too much. He was too great. He was too great. We dated for three months. He was not a pushover. He had friends. He was cool. He was he was perfect. And he took me places and spent money on me. And he had a car and he had a bank account and he had health insurance. And he told me if you want to be together, that's awesome. That's what I want. But if you don't, that's also okay. Um, whatever you want. And I broke up with him. I went back to my ex who got me a $15 gift card to Taco Bell for my birthday. Because I was comfortable. I broke up with him. He was too great. I went back to my ex who got me a $15 gift card to Taco Bell for my birthday. So there is no such thing as relationship equity, as you have just seen. It's a very hard pill to swallow, but when you realize there is no such thing as relationship equity, you will start to understand women better, right? You, are, you will start understanding how to deal with women better and how to move in your dating life, right? Because that is the goal of this channel, to help you guys understand why women do the things that they do, okay? So I'm not saying that you should stop doing things for women because she just she, she just lets you know the game. The guy bought her, you know, did a lot of things for her. You know, he was the perfect guy, but she still left him. I get a lot of men that ask me, I did this for her, this for her, that for her, I did this, whatever she wanted, I did it for her. But here's the deal. The problem is you are doing those things because you feel like if you do those things for her, she owes you something. And the reality is that she doesn't owe you anything. The sad reality is she doesn't owe you anything. Should people be grateful that you did things for them? Yes, they should be, right? But that's not how most women are wired. Most women are wired to, they are wired to basically fend for themselves, do what is in their best interest. That is why there's a term coined monkey branching, right? When she feels like you, you aren't giving her that emotional satisfaction that she wants, or not even emotional satisfaction, the thing that she's craving at the moment, right? It doesn't matter what you've done for her in the past. She's going to move on and she's never going to remember anything that you did for her. It's a hard pill to swallow, but it is what it is, right? Am I saying don't do things for women? Don't, you know, spend money on them? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is if you're doing things, right? Let's say you're dating a woman and you want to take a trip, right? And you don't want to take her, don't take her. If you want to take her, take her. But don't take her because you feel like, oh, that is going to win you some brownie points. It does not do anything for you, right? Trust me. People have to learn this the hard way sometimes. But you know what? It is what it is. The second thing is women like this, women that actually leave guys sometimes is from low interest, right? It's not always low interest. But I always tell guys, look, if you're going to be dealing with a woman, she has to be showing high interest in you, okay? Now, I know it's like, how, well, how do I know if she's showing high interest? She's showing high interest in you when you don't have to do anything and she's constantly trying to get your attention. She's constantly trying to spend time with you. If a woman that you're dealing with has a kind of take it or leave it attitude, like if you call her, she'll answer, but she will never ever call you back or she every every time you want to get intimate with her it's it's she feels like it feels like you are like she's doing you a favor right when she holds intimacy over you as a kind of a way of getting you to do things for her that woman has very low interest in you it doesn't matter if you've been going out with her for two three years right a woman of high interest will always always be down to be intimate with you she will be happy doing things for you Whatever you do for her, she's going to appreciate it, right? But if she has low interest, that's when she leaves you for her toxic ex-boyfriend. This video proves that sometimes when a girl leaves you, it's not your fault. You know, it is not your fault. A lot of guys want to blame themselves. Oh, maybe I didn't do this. Maybe I didn't. No, it's just some, sometimes it's just who she is, right? Some women are not mentally stable. They crave toxic environments, right? Sometimes maybe the woman just needs therapy. Like she just enjoys that toxic or that she enjoys something that is not good for her. And she sees that when she's with you, you know, she's happier, you know, it's more healthy, but she craves that 
it's like it, it's like somebody that knows that smoking cigarettes is gonna kill them, but they they crave that, you know. They know that going to the gym will help them, but they're like, ah, I don't want to go to the gym. Let me smoke cigarettes, right? It's kind of like that. So don't beat yourself up if you have been going out with a woman for let's say four or five months, and then all of a sudden she just ghosts you for no reason, right? Sometimes it's not your fault. There are nothing that there is nothing you you can do. Sometimes maybe just the woman, just you know what? Maybe she wants something else in her life, you know. So never beat yourself up over a woman that just left, you know. You, you, you can figure out what it is in yourself that you can improve, but try to try to say to yourself, oh, maybe, maybe I should have done this, maybe I should have done that. That won't help you, okay? Unless the woman specifically tells you, this is what you did. And sometimes, even in those cases, she she might be lying about that too. She might be just saying that to, you know, oh, you know what, it's not you, it's me. She might be telling you that just to make you feel better. But whatever it is, if a woman leaves you for no apparent reason, she doesn't give you any explanation. Just just move on, honestly. It's not worth worrying about somebody that doesn't really, in the end, care about you, right? The, uh, the next thing is that, guys, that is why I always tell you, right? From making that point, this point is gonna make sense. That's why I always tell you guys, guys, focus on yourself, focus on your goals, focus on your, on your um, purpose in life. Why? Because when you invest time into things that you love and things that will grow you financially, it will it will yield you a, be, a better return on your investment than spending time trying to make one person or a girl happy, right? The time that you invested into your business and the time that, a time invested into your business is a time well spent. If you invest a lot of time and energy into a woman, look, women are very fickle, right? They they love you one day next day they don't love you right so don't don't emotionally invest in one girl for the long term right especially in this day and age because women these days they are fickle sorry i'm sorry to say it, but that's how it is right they love you one day the next day they don't love you right so i always advise guys don't get too emotionally attached too soon right don't get emotionally attached if you can for I mean it's hard not to but at the beginning don't get emotionally attached to a woman because tomorrow she might meet that freaking the guy that does everything for her you know that turns her on in every single way that she wants and then she's going to leave you with no remorse okay so that but when you invest in your business and you invest in yourself and you invest in your purpose that purpose that thing that you invested in is gonna yield a way more better return for you than actually investing in a particular woman. Now, I'm not saying do not date women, right? I'm saying make sure you have multiple women that you are dating and don't emotionally attach too early. This way, when one leaves, you have the others. Also, from the video, you wanna stay away from women like this, right? You wanna, once you realize a woman enjoys being in a toxic environment, when she loves to argue, when she just loves being in a very toxic situation for her to get turned on, that is not good. That is not a good woman to be with. You need to cut ties with that woman ASAP. Look, because here's the thing. Women like this are radioactive, meaning they are not good for your health. It's like she said, the guy did everything for her, but she left him for a guy that did nothing for her right a guy that treats her like crap because that's a self-esteem issue women with low self-esteem don't want to be with guys that make them feel good they want to be with a guy that treats them badly so you that's another thing you don't want to be with women that have very low self-esteem okay this is very very important and finally guys i cannot overstate this women love a guy with some edge to him right women love a guy that has some edge to him now even though the woman on the the, uh, the lady in the video was kind of a, an extreme example of it women love i don't care who she is she loves a little bit of sweet and sour she loves a little bit of nice with the bad right so one thing that i got from what she was saying is that the guy that she was dating had was like a yes man he gave her everything she wanted everything 
it felt like she if she asked asked for a freaking Rolls Royce, he would get it for her. He'll find a way to get it for her, right? So my advice to you is do not be a yes man to women. Don't be a yes man because if you are, it is going to ruin your chances with them, right? You have to have some 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 niceness, but sometimes you gotta show a little bit of like, you know, like a little bit of badness to you. I don't know if that's the word badness, but a little bit of like rough, rough and tumble, you know, pulling her hair sometimes, you know, choking her in bed. Now, I'm I'm not saying choke her out, but, you know, like, uh, show that there is that that you are a kind of guy that sometimes you can be nice, but sometimes you can also be kind of rough and tumble. How do you do this even in a day to day, even in your day to day interaction with her? Be disagreeable. Right? You don't always have to agree with her. You know what I'm saying? If she says 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 one thing, just just disagree with it. You know, you don't have to be the yes man. Trust me, guys. Women are turned off by yes man, and I'm sure that's what happened with this, with the guy that she was she was dating. She just felt like he was a pushover. Um, he was too nice. You know, you can't be too nice with women, right? Now, I'm not ad advocating that you go and start hitting women and insulting them, and no, but but you understand what I mean? Not not insulting or being violent towards women. Never do that, right? That's that's a sign of a weak person, you know. But being disagreeable a little bit, you know, telling, like letting her know where your boundaries is, and when she crosses those boundaries, making sure to let her know. Oh, look, don't uh, don't do that again. Or you know what? Maybe a little firmer hand would uh, help, right? A again, no violence, right? But if she steps over your boundaries. You let her know these are the ramifications of stepping over your your boundaries. And when she steps over those boundaries, because women love to test you, especially guys that they are attracted to, they love to test guys that are attracted to. So if you let her know what your boundaries are and she steps over them, let her know what the ramifications are. And when she does it again, you you actually follow through with 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 your word, because there is nothing more attractive than a guy that puts a woman in her place okay guys that is the video for today if you have not already subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos okay any comments that you guys have leave for me in the comment section below i really appreciate you guys supporting the channel with that i'll see you guys in the next one peace